everyone, welcome back to my channel today. So today's video, first off, as you guys can tell, I'm filming in my old setup. Yay, Joel finally hung up the canvas. So now we are set. I am so excited. I love the setup. So happy to have it back. But in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys this makeup look and I'm gonna be trying out some new products that I got that I haven't tried out before. And I'm gonna let you guys know my thoughts on that, if it's a dope or a nope. I kinda want to incorporate dope or nope reviews in different ways. So let me know what you guys think about this tutorial style video. If you guys are brand new to my channel, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to hit the little bell if you wanna get notified. Also, if you guys enjoyed this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well. So now let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so before getting into this makeup tutorial and kind of dope or no preview, um, I kind of want to talk to you guys about my lashes that I'm wearing. So I'm actually collaborating with Kiss Lashes in this video, and I'm here to show you guys their five new lashes. These are the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection. So the lashes that I'm wearing on my eyes right now are called Boudoir, but these ones that I have in my hands are Little Black Dress which are really pretty. These are lashes that I would wear like every day. I love it how they're wispy and they taper out. And then the other lashes that I have here are called Noir. And oh, these are just like va 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 voom. If you wanna be dramatic and go out and have a dramatic look, these are the lashes to go to. And the next lashes that I have here are called Gala. And I love these ones. These ones are really pretty. I love how dark they are and they still are wispy. And they're just really, really gorgeous. And then the last ones right here are called Midnight. These, again, are really pretty. I like it how these ones are a little bit thicker. And they just got so much wispiness to them. They're so gorgeous. So these are a foaming lash. So they're still going to be really soft, lustrous, and very volumizing. And they also are a knot-free band. So that way, the band is going to be really nice and light on the eyes. That kind of creates more of a natural look to them. They have multiple lengths to them. They have multiple curls and angles, which is awesome. So there's a lot of variety in the collection, which I really like. And also, it's really cool is you can download their Kiss Lash War wardrobe app and you, all you do is just like take a picture of yourself like take a little selfie and you can try on all the lashes through the picture it's really neat to kind of see which lash is going to work best for your eye shape my favorites are the ones that taper out which is why i really love boudoir I think they are absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And I like it that their length is not too long, so you're still gonna see the eyeshadow look right there on the lid as well. So you guys can go and purchase these at Walmart, Rite Aid, Walgreens, and you can also check out the link down below. And yeah, so now let's go ahead and get on into this makeup look, and then I will also show you how to apply these lashes as well. Boom. All right, so as you guys can see, I already have my foundation done. I use this new primer that I got in the mail. This is the Kevin Aquan Essential Skin Primer. Really like this. I love the packaging of it. It's like a little pump thing, which is really cool. And you don't like get like bacteria back in it because you're not putting your fingers in it. You just pump it and it comes right out. This went on my skin really pretty. I really liked it. My foundation went on it really like nicely on top of it. And then my for my foundation, I used the Kojen Do Aqua Foundation, which has been my favorite. I love that foundation. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. And I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. This was really nice. And I'm gonna zoom you guys in real quick. I'm really liking the Urban Decay Primer because it actually like covers up like, you know, the redness on my eyes, just makes it really even. And then also it keeps my eyeshadow on all day. And it doesn't make my eyeshadow like too dry, like my eyelids too dry, which is no bueno when that happens. So yeah, I've actually been enjoying this one. Next up, I'm gonna put on some lip balm right now. This is the Kalanique Crayola Chubby Stick in Mango Tango. I just do this just to keep my lips moisturized. I love this color. It kind of looks like I just ate a popsicle like in the summertime. I love it. All right, so next up, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this um, new stuff from Too Faced. This is the Natural Love Story. This is their Natural Love, I think, collection that's getting ready to launch here on the 9th. This video is gonna be up on the 11th, so it's gonna be up a couple days later. But I actually just hauled this in a P.O. Box haul, and this packaging is so pretty. I'm all zoomed in so you guys aren't really gonna see it, but I showed it in that video. Um, I'll have it linked down below because it most likely will be up before this. And this is what the palette looks like. I really wanted to use this palette, try it out, and see what my thoughts are on it. It comes with a really big mirror, and then you get a total, I believe, 30, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. You get a total of 30 
eyeshadows in here, which is awesome. And I love the colors because they're all very like neutrals and perfect for every day. And then you also have your darker shades to kind of deepen up the looks, like if you're going out that night. So yeah, I don't know what type of look I'm gonna create, but we're just gonna kind of like wing it. And this is also first impressions because I haven't used this yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and go into the shade Heaven right here. And I'm just going to use this to set my eyeshadow primer so that way my other eyeshadows will blend out really nicely. All right, so some things I do notice is there are a ton of shimmers in this palette and only a few matte shades. I wanna say there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I believe there's seven matte shades, which means there are 23 shimmer shades. Yeah, there's not that many matte shades. Hmm. I'm gonna go into Honey Butter right here, which is a really pretty kind of light peach shade. And I'm just gonna take this with a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to blend this through my crease and a little bit on the outer corner of my lid. This is gonna be my transition shade. All right, so, so far, that one blended out pretty well. Um, not much pigmentation from it, which I'm kind of okay with because it's a transition shade. So it just brought in just enough like pigmentation, but not a ton from it, but it is a lighter shade. All right, so next up I'm gonna go into Hot and Bothered right here. This is kind of like a reddish brown shade that has um, flecks of gold in it. And I'm just gonna place this on the outer portion of my eye and slowly blend it in because this is gonna be a little bit of a darker shade. So let's see how this goes. Now I'm just gonna grab my clean blending brush and just work this out because I don't wanna grab any more additional product. So I'm actually quite impressed with that shade. You do get a few of the glitter in it, but not as much as what you see in the pan, which I definitely notice that with most of Too Faced shadows. If they have like any glitter like that, it tends to wipe away. But you do get a little bit of them in there, but it actually was really pigmented, blended out really well. So I really like that shade. That one is definitely promising. Next up, I'm gonna go into Makeup and Chill, which is a reddish brown shade as well, but instead of having any like shimmer or glitter to it, it's just completely matte. And I'm just gonna use a smaller brush to really focus this in the corner just to deepen it up and I'm gonna slowly work it in. All right, so for a shade that has a little bit of a, like a red tone in it, that blended out really well, super pigmented. I'm already getting really impressed with this palette. This is making me happy because so far everything seems to be working. Um, next up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go back into Heaven and that is that cream matte shade that I use to set my lid. And I'm just gonna set the inner corner, like kind of put that on the inner corner of the eye again. You can stop right here and just add some wing liner or just add lashes, but I think I might be a little bit extra. I might bring glitter in on the inner corner. All right, I think I'm gonna go in with this glitter. I've been dying to try these out. Haven't tried them out yet, super excited. This is the Diamond Dust Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. I've seen these everywhere. These look so pretty. I just really hope that this works. I'm scared, but we're gonna do it together. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go right in with the applicator and put it on the inner corner of the lid. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I didn't put any glitter glue down, so, and I really hope that this doesn't irritate my skin, because the last time I've done like glitter, I think it was a couple years ago, that's why I don't do much glitter, is I use a glitter glue from Too Faced and it irritated my eyes so bad. There was like a rash on them. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back into Makeup and Chill, which is that matte regundy, regundy, burgundy red shade. And I'm gonna apply this on the outer corner, just slightly, just to kind of blend out these edges a little bit better with that glitter. Next up, I'm gonna go in with that little small tapered blending brush, and I'm just going to blend it out ever so slightly. Okay, so the glitter looks really pretty on the inner eyes. I actually really like the way that this turned out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a winged liner real quick and then do some mascara. All right, so I just went ahead and used my Kat Von D liner for my wing like I always do. And then I used my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara that I always use too, because this is my favorite mascara. Um, yeah, so I just went ahead and did that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go into some lashes that I already talked to you guys about. I'm actually gonna go into Boudoir. 
I hope I'm saying that right. We know me. I mispronounce everything. And these are really pretty. They taper out just lightly, so it's going to help me give that cat eye effect, which I think goes really well with the look because we kept the outer corner deeper and we did a wing to elongate the eyes. And I like these ones because they're a little bit blacker and they have like a little bit more wispy to them. And then also I'm going to be using their strip lash adhesive. And this is with biotin and blueberry and it's latex free. And what's awesome about this as well, you guys, is it has a little wand applicator, which makes it really easy to get it on the lashes. Like I don't like it when it just doesn't have that wand, then it just squirts out everywhere and gets all over the lashes. I've done that so many times, so I really love the wand applicators. So you also wanna let your glue dry for about 30 seconds, so that way it becomes tacky and it's not slipping and sliding all over your eye when you're trying to place it. And then you should also always measure your lashes too to see if they'll fit your eye, but since I have really big eyes, I never have to cut my lashes. So I never really measure them, but if you have small eyes, make sure you measure them. All right, so here are the boudoir lashes. Oh, they are so pretty. I like it too because they're not like too long and crazy. You can still see the eyeshadow look, but it just adds an extra oomph to your lashes, which I really like. So these are really cool, you guys. All right, so next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my concealer and do a little bit of bronzing real quick. So that way we can go right into the highlights. All right, so I'm back with my face concealed, bronzed up, had some blush, but now we need to add the highlight. And I really wanted to use these Too Faced highlights right here. I'm gonna use one of them. I have a hair in my hand. Hang on. So again, these are launching on March 9th, which is going to be like two days before this video is up. But they came out with three shades. They came out with Blinded by the Light, which I also, I showed all these in my um, Pia Box haul. But this one is probably my favorite right here because I think it's gonna be really pretty on fair skin tones. And then next up we have Ray of Light, which is like a rose gold. It's super pretty too. That one I think will work for any skin tone. And then we have You Light Up My Life, which is more like boom, gold brick right there, like gold. So I'm actually gonna go into Blinded by the Light right here, this cream shade, and I'm just gonna use my Sigma Powder Sweet Brush right here. And I'm gonna put this on my cheekbones. I haven't tried this yet. I've only swatched them in that video. So I'm really excited to try it out. So I'm just gonna scroll my brush in there and just apply it. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like really pretty. It gives you kind of like that wet, like dewy look. Oh my God. I look like I have a shooting star going down my face. Like, this is really cool. I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit. I'm gonna do a tip on my nose. Oh, see how much that just adds right there, which is doing on the tip of my nose. And then a little bit on my cupid's bow. All right, so I'm gonna take my mirror. I'm gonna look up close to see it. It doesn't emphasize any texture. It looks really pretty on the skin. It honestly just makes your skin look like it's really glowy and dewy. It's really pretty and just really natural on the skin. Like it doesn't look powdery. It looks like it's almost like a cream highlight, which is really, really pretty. All right, so I wanna use one of my new lip products that I got, and I'm looking at this one. I think this would be really pretty with this look. This is the Jouer one that I got. This is a lip cream in guava. Ooh, that looks really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my Urban Decay Stark Naked, and then I'm gonna apply this on top. All right, so lips are done, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of set my face, and I have eyeliner on my finger. Well, it's not moving. But I'm gonna use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. Ooh, it smells so good, you guys. It smells so good. That is the completed makeup look. The way that all the colors correspond, I think the lip color is perfect. I really like that. So let's kind of go through some of the products that I use and I'll let you guys know if they're like a dope or a no. So first off, starting off with the primer. This is Essential Skin Primer from Kevin Aquan. I like this. I really love the packaging of it. The packaging is amazing. It looks really pretty on the skin. I will let you guys know further, but so far this is a dope because it didn't make my foundation go on patchy. It didn't make it break up or anything like that. So, so far, so good. And plus the packaging is awesome. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and go to the Too Faced Natural Love Palette. And 
Dude, you guys, I really, really like this palette. I think the colors are gorgeous. This is something that I would definitely gravitate to for every day and every night because you have just an assortment of colors. You have a lot to work with. The only down part to this, and I will be honest, is that there's not enough matte shades in here. There definitely needs to be more matte shades in here. That's the only down part to it, but I think it's really pretty and really fun, and I was really impressed with the quality of the shadows. They were easy to work out. Honey Butter was a little bit faint and not as pigmented, but it is a lighter shade, and I think it's the perfect transition shade. So yeah, that's okay for me. So far, so good. I have to give that a dope because doing like a kind of reddish eyeshadow, usually those are the hardest to formulate, and that one, it blended out beautifully. Like I just love the way that the look turned out. So really love this palette, definitely a dope. Next up going into the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. <sighs> These are really, really pretty. I definitely have to say they are not for everyone. If you love glitter, get your hands on them. But if you're kind of like, eh, do I really need this? Probably not. Um, I thought it was really easy to work with. You don't have to use a glitter glue or anything, which is awesome because the Too Faced Glitter Glue, like I said, gave me a really bad rash when I used it. So, so far my eyes aren't feeling irritated or anything and I think it turned out really pretty. And this color is gorgeous. Again, this one is called Diamond Dust. All right, so next up onto the lashes. And I think the lashes are gorgeous, you guys. I think they're really pretty. I love the fact that you get them at the drugstore. They're good quality. They're really soft. They're voluminous. They look so beautiful on the eyes. I really like the lash glue as well because of the wand applicator. It makes it really easy and simple. Love that. So yeah, these are definitely a dope. Remember to check out the link down below. Guarantee you guys will like these. Just go check out Walmart, Rite Aid, or Walgreens. Really pretty. It also makes sure to check out the app as well to see which style is gonna work best for your eyes. And then next up, I have the Jouer Lip Cream in Guava. Stunning, so pretty, you guys. Dries down to a matte finish, looks seamless on the lips, doesn't make my lips look super dry. It's just perfect, love this, this is definitely a dope. And then last but not least, the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Just trying it, I think it looks good, it smells good, it's very luxurious. Do I think it's a definite like need and must have in your collection? Probably not. I would even recommend the Mario Podesco Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. You can get this at Ulta. I've been obsessed with mine. You can see how much I've used of it. I spray this on throughout the day, like so many times throughout the days, you guys. So this is a great, less expensive option to this, I think. This is really luxurious, really pretty, but yeah, you can definitely just get this one. This is my favorite right now. And that is it for this like dope or nope makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this little spin on this makeup tutorial. And yeah, I know that you guys are enjoying the dope or nope review, so I'm trying to incorporate them any way that I can. Let me know in the comments down below which reviews you guys wanna see next, and make sure to give the video a thumbs up as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.